Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is September the 6th, 2020, and um, I wanted to show you these beautiful Gumfrina strawberry red field flowers here. Now the blooms on these flowers get about one to one and a half inch um, like globe shaped flowers on them. They're sort of like a, they remind me of like a gum drop. And as you can see, they, when they first start blooming, the flowers are a lot smaller, but as the flowers start to mature, um, they get a lot larger. So this particular variety is an heirloom variety, open pollinated. So uh, you can collect seeds off of it and you can save them and plant them again next year. And um, now as long as you don't have another variety of Gumfrina blooming at the same time where they would cross. And I'm going to be collecting seeds from mine this year. So um, I'm letting some of them go here and I'm letting them get larger so I can uh, collect my seeds from them. Now these get about 18 to 24 inches tall. And uh, they're really great for uh, cut flowers, use them for cut flowers. And uh, gumfrinas are great for uh, drying, like for dried flower arrangements. Now you want to space your plants about six to eight inches apart. They're great for containers. And uh, this, these are in a hanging basket here. They're really great for filling in like around your perennials for uh, more colors. Now if you remove the spent blossoms from these, they will continue to bloom more. And uh, these do like full sun. They do best and they bloom the best in full sun. And they have a beautiful strawberry red color to them. And uh, you can see here these are um, getting more, these are more developed here. So uh, they're starting to get the yellow points on the tips. Let's see here's another one over here like that. Now these blooms here, they're just coming. You can see one down here, it's just real little and it's just starting to come. Now I'm gardening in Pennsylvania in zone 5B, so um, Comfrina, is an an Comfrina is an annual where I'm gardening at. So at the first frost, these are going to be done. So that's why I'm letting them go to seed now, so so I can get the uh, get the seeds off of them then, and uh, plant them for next year. And the seeds will be more adapted to my growing climate, so um, the plants will be more vigorous and will grow more and better for me the next year because they're going to be more adapted to my climate. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button that tells you I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!